Welcome to Google Apps for Education for Dublin City Schools. We are going to take a look today at Google Drive and specifically how to create a Google document and how to share it. Uh, Google Apps for Education provides us a whole suite of applications available through your Google account and we're going to look at Google Drive. Google Drive can be reached by going straight to drive.dublinschools.net and logging in with your username and password or by going to google.com and hitting the tiles button and going to the Drive application. When you go into Google Drive uh, you'll notice that you see some things that you should become familiar with. In the upper right hand corner is your ID or your email address so you know that you're in your account. In the top left hand corner you'll see the Dublin City Schools logo. Underneath your name you'll see the little gearbox. Get familiar with that gearbox because that is where the settings typically change in all of the Google Apps. Under three is where you would create a document. Notice it says document, spreadsheet, presentations. There are a whole suite of different things that you can create in Google Drive. Four is the upload button you can upload a Word file and it will convert to Google format so that you could share it. Uh, you could do the same for PowerPoint presentations, Excel spreadsheets, and the like. Uh, five is your folder list. You'll see things how they're organized on the left hand side. Six is your list of documents. Since this is a new account, you'll notice that there's only one file in there um, as you create files, they will show up in that list. And then 7 shows all the activity, the recent activity in that account. So as things get edited, uh, those will show up on that left hand or right hand side. We're going to start by creating a document. So you're going to go to the Create button and click on Document. And it will open up a word processing document, just like if you opened up Microsoft Word or Pages. Um, again, notice in the top right hand corner you see your account information. Over on the left it says Untitled Document because I have not titled my new document yet. I can just click in there and make a title. Under 3 you can see all the buttons, um, the little shortcuts to all the editing tools, changing the font, size of font, alignment, all those types of things. Um, under 4 you see the menu headings. Um, just like in a word processor, you see those same headings. Five is the body. You can type in that space, um, type your document. And then the button that really gives Google its power is that blue button up in the right-hand corner, number six. It says Share. If we click on that Share button, you'll notice that it'll open up a window that looks similar to the left-hand side here. And you can share your document with other people. Right now it's set to private. If you click on the change button right there, change word, it'll open up some settings that will allow you to do some different things with your document. You can make that document public on the web so that anyone could do a search and find it. You can make it public on the web so that they have to have a link. And when we mean by link, you'll notice over on the left hand side there's a blue highlighted link that you could share with someone and they'd be able to go in and edit your document. You'll also notice that you can share it with Dublin City Schools account people. This is a specific thing for Google Apps for Education. It allows us to control what happens in our Dublin City Schools domain. You can do Dublin City Schools people with the link as well or you can keep it private. My recommendation is as you start out to keep things shared privately and only invite people as individuals and you'll notice that at the bottom of the page on the left that says invite people. So let's take a look at that. If we want to share with individuals we can click in there and we can enter names and email addresses of people that have Google accounts that can share documents with us. Notice on the right hand side it says you can edit. If you click on can edit you can also give them permission not only to edit but to only comment or even to just view the document. 
So you can invite a person and set their permissions and then they will be able to see the document and share or comment or edit or view. In the next window where it says invite people at the bottom of the page, you'll notice there's a sentence there that says editors will be able to allow other people to, to edit or to see the document. That is the default settings for Google Apps for Education. Editors can allow people to add. If you want to control your document and not allow that to happen, you have to click the change button and say owners only can change permission. Then you as the owner of the document would have total control. So we're going to share our document with some people. So I've shared it with Rhonda and Scott and I've given them edit permission. Notice in this window I could also change it so that they are co-owners or that they could only comment. I can still change those permissions. So I've shared a document with Rhonda and Scott and that document will look like this. You'll notice in the top right hand corner you can see the icons of the people who are currently on the document. So Scott and Rhonda are on the document. You'll notice in the body of the text that you can see a cursor with each of their names. So you can see where they are currently typing while I am typing in the top line. That is one of the greatest powers of Google Documents is that we can type on the document at the same time and contribute and share and collaborate. Google Apps for Ed allows us to create documents and share documents with our colleagues and with eventually students in the district so that we can utilize the power of Google to create and collaborate on documents.